if there's still a Republican control in Congress, and if Hillary is is elected, is there anything she could do to? Uh, well, there might be executive order. Yeah. Oh, so she can. Yeah, I know that. Uh, President certain, he, he did some executive orders relating to aspects of waiting periods, mm -hmm. but what we really need is to win the Senate and have her there and put the pressure on the House. I just wish that you know. You might even win the House. We were intrigued by the comment about executive orders. And then we found this email in the WikiLeaks DNC email treasure trove. It's an email from Hillary's press secretary, Brian Fallon, about the kinds of gun control laws Clinton would enact using executive orders if she were to become president. Hillary, Hillary, she's Hillary wants more. to shut it down. She's going to shut, shut it down. down. I mean, you think she get, will? You know, we're getting guns away from everyone in this country. Which are closed loopholes. She would get rid of assault weapons. She would get rid of being able to buy, you know, unlimited bullets. I mean, all that shit that she needs to the stop. I don't get why he defends handguns. So that's the one. Well, that's. Um, it was mid-August, and one of our journalists went undercover into the Russ Feingold campaign in Madison, Wisconsin. Is there anything you need help with the most, or is it just everything? Okay, give me a phone call. Awesome. Somehow, our cover was blown. Can you tell us if you're working for anyone in particular? Not really going to answer any questions. Oh, you're recording us? Not really going to answer any questions. Okay. But um, then we are going to ask you to leave. And okay. Unfortunately, prohibit you from uh, coming back to the campaign. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Well, it was great meeting you. The Feingold campaign was so proud that they had uncovered the mole, they trumpeted their brilliance by going to the media. Time Magazine, The Huffington Post, and others enthusiastically reported the story. But the Feingold campaign wasn't as brilliant as they thought they were. On the very same day they uncovered our undercover journalist, we were infiltrating a fundraiser in Silicon Valley, where the candidate Russ Feingold himself spilled some beans about possible Hillary strategies to restrict the Second Amendment. I looked like a young Elton John or an old Justin Bieber. Feingold talks both sides on the gun issue. Wisconsin has a lot of hunters who vote. But I, what I do is I go with the majority of you people to state which is very common sense. They believe there should be background checks. Overwhelmingly believe there should be background checks for the internet and for gun checks. Interestingly, Feingold's stance on guns disappointed some of the big West Coast donors I spoke with. I wanted him to be stronger. Nobody I just, needs a friggin' handgun. I don't understand that. I, I understand hunting. I, I get it's a, you know, it's something people do, but I don't get why he would defend handguns. So that's the one. Well, that's. I mean, he's from Wisconsin. I don't. I mean, I don't understand why Russ does that. I mean, like, Hillary's like. Hillary, Hillary, Hillary wants more. to shut it down. You're never going to get guns totally out of the hands. Right. It's the Second Amendment, right? Yeah. But you can get sensible gun laws passed, and Obama didn't do it. If anyone can do it, she'll do it. Stay tuned, America. 2016.